Yo, guys, so you're probably wondering to yourself, Colin, I don't really like the I don't really really like the new version of 1v1 LOL because I remember that time that when you made a video on this game like a few months ago. Let me let me find it. I made a video on it right here. Type 1v1 right here. The new update. This is me playing a new update, and you're probably wondering to yourself. Colin, I don't really like this update. I'm gonna go back to this version right here. You see, it has like the old avatar back and stuff. You can see it's pretty cool to have it back, and you can you can't play online. I haven't figured out how to, but there is probably a way. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you you can just play offline. You can control your little friends and show them out how. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to guys can, and this also works. For any other version. I mean this also works for any other game. But there's going to be a little few steps in order to do it. So I'm going to teach you guys how. Alright so before I tell you guys how you want to do it. Make sure. Number one. You have the game. Don't be like just. Don't be like just doing it. While you don't even have the game. Because it won't allow you to do it. Because if you try to do it. It will it was probably might say that you, that you don't own this game. Or something like that. Make sure you go to your Steam and find what game that you want to downgrade to. For example, Gary's Mod, 1v1 LO. 1v1 LO is like free and stuff. But yeah, lots of these are like, uh, once, lots of these are sometimes free. So you can just do one of these versions and then just make it go back to an older version. So yeah. Alright, so in order to start this process, you got to first do is you want to go to, I mean, make sure you have a Steam shortcut or if you don't, uh, just go open file location and go to the Steam thing right here. But for example, I have the desktop thing. So you want to right click on it and you can click properties. Then you want to add this little thing to the target. Add dash console right next to the where your thing is located. For example, just type dash console and then click OK. And then you want to close out Steam. Uh, make sure you close it all the way. So you can see right here it's shutting out Steam. Uh, then you want to reopen up Steam. Should take like a few minutes to do. And then boom, you should find on the top, right here, there should be a little button right here called console. So you want to click on the console, and then there should be nothing on your screen like this. Well, that's good then, if you have it open. Now, um, I'm going to turn on online mode so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay. So now you want to do is you want to type in... Uh, you want to go to your browser and type steambdb.info. Now it should take you to this little website called SteamDB. And now you want to, you want to search up your game that you want to downgrade the version to. For example, uh, example if you want to do, I already downgraded, uh, I already downgraded 1v1 LO, so, wait, no, wait, no, I should, I should update it again. I should update it. Uh, verify. Okay, there we go. There, I'm gonna start verifying it so it can go back to like the newer version <laughs> because I. Yeah, look. Okay, there we go. So now it's updating. All right. So let's hope that we got the. Old... Okay, and. Okay, there we go. All right. So now we got the new version. Uh, this is that. That's the new one. I literally just downloaded it, and it's because Lori said it was updating. So now you're probably wondering, oh man. I don't really like this version. I'm going to go back to the older one. So now you want to type in 1v1. And you should find 1v1 LO right here. You want to click it. And then now you want to do next. I mean, now you want to go to your little Steam and go back to the console. And type in, uh, type in download. Uh, just type in this thing right here. Download down depot. I don't know what the world's this line mean, but... Just type in this, download down the pot. Just make sure you type it exactly like this. Then now you want to do is you want to first copy the app ID. So copy the app ID. And then you want to do a space, then paste it. What you want to do is you want to go to Depots. And select the version that you want. For example, if you're doing like another game, just make sure it says Windows or something like that. But if it doesn't say anything, like for example 1v1 LO, just make sure you just click on the little number. And then as soon as you click on the little number, what the frick was that? What in the kind of Discord notification? Okay. Um, 
Then you want to just want to next copy the depot ID. So copy the depot ID, and you want to do is you want to do a space, then paste it again. Now you want to go back to the little website and you go to main fist. And you're probably wondering, why was there so many main fists? Well, these are all the versions for one v one I love that are currently on here. But then you're probably wondering, but I want to go back to the older, older one. Well. These are the only versions that were supported when st when one v one officially came out on Steam. So these are the only versions that only come. So for example, I'm gonna be doing uh June eighteenth of twenty twenty three update, which is a pretty pretty old update. This was before they went to this uh this this very disgusting profile thing. Uh, uh. So <laughs> I don't really, really like it. Oh, now I just have to reface it. So let me do that thing real quick. <laughs> yeah, if you if you do accidentally mess up, and uh, you probably have to like redo it all over again. So yeah, let me just go. Let me go re-add all stuff again. No, oh, hold on. Let me just space paste. Okay, why does they always keep doing that? That's weird. Okay, there. Uh, now you want to go to Main Fist, and then you should select any versions that you want. For example, this one was 16 months ago, which was a few months ago. This was at 10.01 a.m., I think, or p.m., I don't know. But this was from June 2023 version. So if you want to pick that version, highlight over the numbers, right-click, and then you want to click Copy. And then now, make sure you do Space, then Paste. And then now that's it. You're probably wondering, okay, that's it. Now what? But still, make sure, make sure you have this game on your Steam account. If you don't, it won't work. So, yeah. Okay. Now you want to do is you want to click on, uh, let me first check and see if it's there. Because I don't know if it is. I don't know if that weird thing is still on there. So I'm just going to go check. <laughs> oh my god, it's still there. Okay. Um, let me delete this. Guess I want to redial it. So, uh, yeah. Alright. So now, you want to, is you want to click on the word, I mean, now you want to click enter. And then now, it should say downloading dpot 2305791. If it says an error, make sure you typed it correct. Make sure you typed it correctly because if it if you didn't, it didn't work. So make sure you type it very quickly. And if it still comes up with an error, make sure that you have the game on your Steam account and stuff. So now, if you check your content folder, there should be a new. F uh, if you now you want to go to, uh, you want to find where your Steam location is, where your actual Steam is, and then you want to go to Steam apps. You want to click on content. And now you should find a new folder called app, and then you should find a number. That will be your uh, app ID for 1v1LL, or it should be a different number as your app ID, as shown from right here. If it says the same numbers as this, that means it's the right one. So it makes you click it, and now you should see Depot. Now then, you should see uh, some new things downloading. For example, right now it's downloading 1v1LL.exe. And 1v1 LL data. If you open up the data, you see it's right now downloading all the stuff from the older version into here. You can see there's lots of stuff. I mean, lots. You just keep scrolling. You see, every time when my uh, when my bar keeps moving, it's because it's adding more stuff. Because Steam is downloading the older version of 1v1 LL, and this still works. So I'm pretty shocked. <laughs> I think Steam does not want to remove it. But yeah, you can see there's lots of stuff. You can see everything's downloading right here. Um, so yeah, so make sure you watch. Make sure you watch for this. If um, so, I'm just gonna go pause this video and wait until this thing is done because I don't want to be just sitting here. I don't want you to watch me just do like that. <laughs> you just watch me just sit there and be like, maybe, maybe just watching my iPad. I don't know, just something like that. So. I'm not going to let you guys watch that, so I'm just going to pause this video, and I'll see you guys when this thing's done. And also, I will also link the website and...
the other stuff that I also mentioned inside this video. I'll link all that inside the description so you guys can like copy and paste the stuff. Alright, so now you can see it says Depot Download Complete. And now if you go back to your little app thing, you see everything's there. And you're probably wondering, oh, do I just click open and it'll work? No. Now you need to is make sure you go to your little Steam. I mean, it's just a Steam on here. I just have a little theme on. And you want to click on Go Offline. So make sure you turn that thing on. Because if you don't turn it on, uh, Steam will automatically start updating it to the newest version again. And that means you have to restart all over again, which you don't want to do that. So you want to click on Go Offline. And then you want to go to 1v1.0. Right click. I mean, go to your game. Right click. Click Properties. Go to Install Files. And then you want to click Browse. Now you should find your normal game right here. Now you want to do is want to go back to your little decomp right here. This is the decomp you can see. They both because look the icons a little bit different too, and there's this whole another folder which I don't know what's this thing doing there. Okay, so now you want to do is you want to copy all the stuff from the decomp from the decomp. So right here, copy. Oh, right click, copy. Then you want to go to whatever you want to allow. Highlight this. Right click. You want to click paste. Now, if you wait a few seconds, uh, don't know what I was doing. Paste. Okay, there we go. All right. So when you paste it, it should say the destination has five hundred and five files, or the f or how many files with the same names. Make sure you click on right here. Replace the files in the destination to replace. And then boom, you officially replace them all. That's it. Now, you want to do is you want to go on Steam and you want to click play. And then now, boom, that's it. You got the old version. That was it. That was easy. And then boom, you're in. And you can see there's my username. You can see it's kind of laggy though, so make sure you just go over here, just like your little thing, and click play. Okay. Now, boom, that's it. You're in, you're in the game, it works properly. It will also work for any other games, but make sure you have it inside your Steam account, or else this will not. Oh, yeah, sometimes it might do that, so I just need to rejoin. Okay, well, yeah, it's kind of laggy. Oh, okay, well, I don't know what's going on. Click play. Okay, there we go. Alright, but yeah, so you, so, you, so you guys can see it works properly, kind of, for 1v1 a little, but it will work good for other games too. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching, that's it. If you guys like this video, um, like this video and subscribe for more notifications on live streams, shorts, and videos, so you never miss one. Alright, thank you guys for watching, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Peace!